you people in my comments again that's not water that's juice why can't you just drink plain water why don't you just say you're boring why don't you just say you're basic because i'm gonna own up to be an extra but baby i'm gonna be hydrated and extra so there's this new trend on TikTok called water talk and it sounds pretty harmless. To be honest, it kind of is, but it annoys me and it annoys me to the point that I'm going to make a video on it because it's ridiculous. So obviously the whole emotional support water bottle thing has been a trend for a while in America. It's that Stanley Cup situation. And here in Australia, it's all the Aussie girlies with their Frank Green water bottles. So coming off that, obviously the trend isn't that unexpected or that random, but pretty much there's just a trend with a bunch of middle-aged ladies making their water on the internet where it gets weird is the videos of all these people showing themselves let's make our little water of the day water of the day and how they make this water is they pretty much add sugar-free flavor packets to it some of the most popular ones i've seen are jolly rancher flavored sugar-free calorie-free water packets that you add that will make your water taste like jolly rancher which is like an american lolly i can kind of get behind that okay i see the logic like you've got a product you're using it as it should be but what gets me is you've got these people adding syrups the syrups you would put in a frappuccino at starbucks and also sugar-free margarita mixes to their water and that as well is not your substitute for a mid-morning pickup ice latte it's not like your evening little like fun beverage you have once a day these people are out here exclusively drinking these concoctions like they're not drinking plain water a lot of these accounts do it in the light of being for weight loss now don't get me wrong that's a good thing like i'm not against self-improvement whatsoever these videos get a lot of comments from people pretty much just saying it's not not water and these people respond to these comments and get super super triggered because people will pretty much say it's like a juice or a cordial because if you think about it it's basically just a starbucks frappuccino where instead of the milk they've put water so it being tiktok there's obviously a lot of back and forth between these people <laughs> I feel like that pretty accurately sums it up. Let's be honest, you're basically drinking an alcohol-free, sugar-free margarita at 10 a.m. If you want to do that, that's great. But also, it's not water. So of all the Water Talk girlies, there is a solid catalog of them making response videos to hater comments about people telling them that their sugar-free margarita is not water. I'm going to have to sing this because it got copyrighted so you can get the idea. I don't see how you can hate from outside the club. You can't even get in. <laughs> Let go. Dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Yellow bottle, cheers. Yellow bottle, sip in. Yellow Lamborghini. It's not water anymore. That's just juice. Who needs that many cups? I don't really see how any of these are hate comments, honestly, because I think these people are just getting a bit too sensitive. In their defense, I don't really have an issue with this lady spending like $500 on multiple different colored Stanley cups. Like, I don't have an issue with that. I don't really think there's a problem. Obviously, you've got the overconsumption aspect, but like, you know, life. Apart from the secondhand embarrassment I got from this video, that it's still water. It is not. <laughs> POV, you're mad I consider this water. So by these people's logic, it's not coffee, it's still water. It's not almond milk, it's still water. It's not Diet Coke, it's still water. Because it's sugar-free, which I don't think so. I think you need to accept that you adding a sugar-free cocktail syrup to your water no longer means that it's water. All right, for all my water babies out there, I've got two things for you. So we know yesterday, mermaid and cotton candy came back in socks. So this lady, Tonya, is probably the most iconic lady in terms of water talk. I'm not really sure if she's the founder of the water talk movement. This lady genuinely looks so lovely and she's so committed to her little water talk as well. Good morning. All right, I don't even know where we are. The 7-Eleven somewhere? Oh my gosh. Loving every minute of it. Like this one here where she's literally in the corner of a 7-Eleven at an airport still updating everyone with her water of the day. So Tonya posted this video called Welcome to Water Talk. Welcome to Water Talk in all caps. We're drinking more water than we ever have. We're happy and hydrated. We've bought every skinny syrup packet within 50 miles. Got the cutest cups and are all too busy peeing all day to care what you think. Spends the next two hours responding to hate comments where people are telling her this is not water and also making this video. You people in my comments again that's not water that's juice why can't you just drink plain water why don't you just say you're boring why don't you just say you're basic because i'm gonna own up to be an extra but baby i'm gonna be hydrated and extra boring ah yes because i don't drink my water with a sugar-free cocktail mixer in it i'm boring look lady this is great and all but surely you can just call it like sugar-free alcohol-free margarita talk or starbucks frappuccino except it's water talk you know because that would be more accurate to what it is 
So today, water flavor of the day will be unicorn and one packet of the blue raspberry starburst. All right, you guys, we got a brand new water today. We're gonna try out the mermaid. Got 40 ounces of ice and water right here. Two pumps of the mermaid skinny syrup. Maybe one more, that, that one was kind of shy. I also feel the need to point out that they have unicorn and mermaid flavors of water syrups. I, what the fuck? <laughs> All right, I'm running late today. We're gonna get to the water of the day. I'm thinking wedding cake with a twist. Like pink wedding cake water. Let's get to the water bar. Honestly, kind of love this for this lady. Like she is so committed to this. She literally has a water bar in her house. But also I can't get over how many packets this lady has. Like this is not water. Okay, vanilla almonds and coconuts are what make up wedding cake. So two coconut and then two of the vanilla almond. I'm thinking strawberry. Got the all pink starburst. Let's add that. What's prettier than a pink water, right? She does get five stars on Yacht for creativity, but that's about all for this situation. Oh, that's good. That's good. Make that <laughs> water of the day. Yeah. That one's really good. Do you see what I mean? These ladies seem so lovely. Like it's just a lady over here being harmless, sitting in her egg chair, making a water of the day. Some of these water talk videos do genuinely freak me out because... Water of the day. Sonic ice filled halfway. You're too lazy to make your own ice? Come on, you've got to be kidding me. Like, come on. This is genuinely so excessive. Like you're telling me you drove all the way to a gas station to buy ice. You can't even get an ice mold to put in your freezer. Cause I was thinking as well, maybe this is an accessibility issue, but I'm like, you can't be buying ice from a gas station that would end up being more expensive and not afford a freezer. And also like, where are you storing this big bag of ice? Obviously in your freezer. One pineapple drink mix. Fill the rest with plain water. The fact as well, they're pouring bottled water into their reusable water bottles. Make it make sense. Please, I beg you, make it make sense. So we're moving right along to the cocktail, mocktails in a sugar-free water. Strawberry pina colada. Get that in, we're gonna give that a little bit of a mix. For the strawberry part, I'm using strawberry skinny syrup. If you don't have this, use a strawberry packet. A little bit there. Mm make that. See, you cannot tell me that mixing a sugar-free margarita syrup with water changes nothing. This is a hill that I will sit and die on, and the water talk ladies are probably saying the exact same thing in regard to it being water. If we went head-to-head, -head, I think, to be honest, they'd win, but also, it's not water, okay? You can't change my mind. So, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts on water talk. If you're not subscribed yet, could you please, as it really does help my channel. So, yeah. Uh...